Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Zenith Zone Zero. Looks like Belle is not at the video store X18 where she has gone to. Today, we're gonna continue doing Chapter 2. I did got an idea for Social 11, so let's read this first. Cat can sense danger. Captain Megas once told us to experience at the field hospital. There was a cat at the hospital, always lying on the bed at the critical wound soldiers. Those who shoot the lady will be soon passed away. I even noticed these black cats down the alley behind the arcade. Let's find some time to go and check out the cats together. I have a lead to a text in the event and any real danger. Uh, I'll be okay. there once I'm done. Okay, that lets me out the street behind the arcade at midnight. Right now? Um, okay. Oh, that's side quest. Uh, I wanna do it after I talk to Bamboo. That's how they sound when he's talking. Guys, did you finish the test? Hmm, you mean the promotion? Yes, Bell told me. Complete the exam can make more than skill late without about opportunities. I'll take you care of the store and the work hard, just like you guys. You're already doing great, 18. By the way, where's Bell? Uh, Bell just took a phone call and docked to the parking lot because she didn't want to interrupt your work. Thanks, I'll have a look. Okay, uh, before I go to Bell, let me actually go... Can I find Soldier 11? She's apparently nearby the arcade apparently, so let's go down. Okay, where is she? Is she right here or... No, that's the bamboo people. Uh, Soldier 11, where are you? Um, I don't seem to see very well. I don't think she's... I don't think she's single yet. Oh, it's at midnight, never mind. Um, I guess I'll do it later. Hey, sister, where are you? Oh, there you are. What's she, what's she doing back here? Looking at photos of that? Huh. I expected Belle is taking a call inside a parking lot. So, for the monster in the square, you're really saying Hand is gonna take over the remaining investigation? Absolutely positive. We heard it firsthand, together with the Bellabog Industries people. The monster's remains will still be collected by public security, of course. But the automated evidence carrier will bring the remains to Hand once it passes through the hollow. Yeah, I get it. Hand is better than public security at investigating this kind of weird stuff. They've always had a pretty delicate relationship. That popsec officer seems decent though. Being willing to put all that aside and hand over the case. Oh, it's getting late. I can't stay in chat. I have a client meeting scheduled later. Anyway, I'll do my best to help look for rain. So keep an eye out for some good news. Thanks, Nicole. Bye. Bye, Nicole. Hey, Wise. Hmm. Was that Nicole on the phone just now? Was that Nicole on the phone just now? Yeah. Nicole figured that we were related to what happened in the square. So she called to ask. I explained everything and told her about the mission to find Rain. By the way, Coleda also called earlier to say public security confirmed the time to collect the monster's remains. Hmm. I hope those thoughts of the vacation will go smooth. Hopefully, soon. will be quick to figure things out once they get the evidence. Fingers crossed. Anyway, whether it's the investigation or the search for rain, all we can do now is wait for news. Since we don't have a lot on our plate right now, let's drop by the public security office sometime in the next couple of days. Uh, why do you want to go there? Hmm? What are we gonna do over there? I'm surprised you've forgotten. Our driver's licenses are about to expire. It was Fairy who noticed it the other day. Master. I've applied for a driver's license renewal for you and second assistant on the public security's official website. But unfortunately, the collection of the new licenses must be done in person. Let's visit their office in Lumina Square soon then, to collect our new driver's licenses. The metro to Lumina Square is always crowded. Let's just drive there. Oh yeah. Why, let's find the time to pay a visit for security in Lumina Square. Why not go tomorrow? Okay, new story quest, let's go! Oh, but I'll set. Tomorrow afternoon it is. 18 can keep an eye on these. Okay, in the often the following day. Okay, it's... Oh, man, it's not even midnight. Okay, now we're going to Lumin Square. I thought it was called Lumin Square, but it's not my square. Oh, yeah! Look at this place! If that's just Lumin Square, I'll be like, Lumin, be careful, police officer! I see a square box. Oh, look at this place though. Oh, the flies. Oh, why do they have that? Okay, later I saw the parlor near Lumin's Luma Square, I mean. Why? I can't bring it. The parlor is full. I suppose the bustling CBD. Why? It's not the time to be political. Political about things. Anyway, now we're looking for other solution. Maybe there are other point spaces around. I can't on you then. I'll wait for you in the updates. 
Oh, great. Time to look around the city. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Is that the bamboo over there? Who oh, is a bamboo over here? Hey, bamboo. Posey, bamboo. Uh, okay. Uh, remember your post kitty at your service. This isn't one of the part of the power on the street. Provision for the fine. Um, hello. Um, please follow traffic law and use crossing when crossing the street. The city of the city depends on everyone's cooperation. The draw call of public security HQ is carrying out the public security safety. Awareness month will be mo events throughout the whole district. Uh, I need some help. Citizens are still invited to join. For more details about this event, please say one. For self-service payment of fines, please say two. For business services, please say nine. Nine, 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 nine. Citizen, are you calling me? What do you need? Is there any will to park here? Uh, you're looking for a new parking lot? Understood. Overwhelming vacated parking space. We're currently in the Musk Well. See this new space. A parking space, two point one km. Thanks, got it. Uh, you're welcome. The it the point of the Lumen Bus City if I see to wait our build system system. Good job. Next time I hope I can avoid it. Oh boy, that's where I'm going. Hold up before I think I see a chest, I'm gonna grab Give it here. I got some things to collect. Ooh, another one. I'm gonna grab this too. And a grab. Oh well, I'm fine with grab this place I'm exploring. Got another one. And there's this one. Wait, is that a what? Eve? Huh. Wait, no, hold on, let me double click. I just got a new batch of scratch cards. Come try your luck. Oh, look how she talks. <gasps> hey, look at this. It's just like the dog. So I can either go heal. I can go heal. Young people is a delight. Okay, anyways. Uh, it's just like the dog. So scratch it up. Okay, now this is... Wait a minute. NPC? Oh, no, no, but you could put so cute. I do see another parking lot, but hold on a second. Let me see this first. A chest. Oh, wow. Even in the... Pike? That's some weird ass thing. Something to and just chest. Excuse me, officer who loose human in bamboo. Oh, bust again. Look upon this other way. If a car happens, number one is a dozen she's been crying. Moreover, nothing can escape these eyes of mine. Why I the starlight night? Every fly is meant for protection. This is my daily Texas. I was really considering leave the car here, but it looks like the sleep will take about this soon. It's better not take a risk. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna go. <gasps> Wait a minute. Tin can is he? What? How is he heal? What the hell? It's like two of them or just one. That's kind of weird. Hey, sister, we found a parking lot. Why? Wow, she back. How's everything? The nearest pillar is two kilometers away. We think I just my phone and got pretty much the same as all. Two kilometers. I guess we have to settle for that. Then let's get going. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is exhausting. I had no idea it'd be so hard to find a parking space here. We should have just taken the metro. Uh, just a little longer, Bell. Hang in there, Bell. It's just another 300 meters. We haven't gotten much exercise lately, so let's just consider it a workout. We? I'm leaving her. You're the one who never exercises. The only time you run is when you're using Eos's body. Speaking of things we haven't done lately, it's been ages since we had a good meal. Since that dinner with the cunning hairs, right? Hmm. Uh, I knew you were complaining for a reason. All that complaining about being tired. I knew there was more to it than that. <laughs> we deserve to treat ourselves with all our hard work lately. What do you think? How about we have a meal somewhere nearby when we're done? Okay. Bye, seeing as our profit for this month is picking up. Seeing as our profit for this month has been picking up? Sure. Hooray! You're the best! Let me see what's good around here. Okay, it's a bit buffet. <laughs> So weak. What's wrong, Belle? Oh, oh, what the hell? hell? Belle, watch out! <laughs> oh, thanks. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Oh, uh, Belle. me too, Are Belle. You <laughs> I'm okay. Are you? I think she got flustered. Have we met somewhere before? Hmm? Have we? Sorry. I think we've mistaken you for somebody else. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's new character. Okay, now this is chapter... Another one? I thought we were doing chapter 2 already. What the hell is going on with this game? I mean, I guess we're still in chapter 2, apparently. If you're asleep in front of the post-security Lamont branch. Ju Yuan, Ching Yi. 
Thank you so much for your help this afternoon. If it oh, weren't yeah, for that's my name. So fast, I'd probably be lying in the hospital right now. <sighs> Don't mention it. Keeping citizens safe is our duty as public security officers. And we're thankful for your cooperation. All that paperwork took some time. Hmm. Uh, have you determined the cause of the accident? Have you determined the cause of the accident? We can't say for sure right now. The driver is fine physically, but he doesn't remember anything leading up to the accident. But don't worry. Every problem has a solution. We'll find a way to get to the bottom of this. It's getting late. Why don't you two head home? Feel free to contact us if you recall any further details about the accident. Thanks again for your help. Thanks again for your help, you two. If you pass by 6th Street in the future, be sure to visit our video store. I'll give you a free membership card. So you live on 6th Street. I expect we'll run into each other soon. Oh? What do you mean? Hold on, Chingyi. Being vague could give the wrong impression. Here, take a look at this. It should better explain what she's talking about. Okay, a flight from Officer Zhuyan. It appears to be a su survey of upcoming public. It hosts a event about the public security. Hmm, does the person on the front look familiar? Maybe it does! Public Security Awareness Month? Uh, questionnaire? Really? Public Security Safety Awareness Month questionnaire? Our inspector oh, has now. temporarily okay. assigned us to the Lumina branch to prepare for this event. We'll be holding a big safety lecture here soon for the citizens. The two of us will be visiting nearby neighborhoods and distributing the questionnaires to encourage them to attend. Welcome to the neighborhood. I see. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Please, keep the questionnaire. If you're interested in the seminar, you can fill in your info and give it to us when we visit 6th Street. See you again soon, managers. Manager? Everyone's class managers. Later, Zunya and King Jia return to the public security building. So, public security officers will be visiting 6th Street soon. That's never happened in all the time we've lived there. By the way, there's something else I want to discuss with you, Wise. It's about Ji Yuan and Ching Yi. I want to discuss the same thing. What a coincidence. I want to discuss that too. But we shouldn't talk here. Their office is still nearby. Mm hmm. Let's head home first. Wait, what about your IDs? Oh, did you guys already got your IDs? Well, I'm, what I'm guessing. Okay, so much has happened today, so I really don't feel in the mood for food wise. Let's get them together for some other time. I'm gonna head back home. If that's what you want, it sounds good to be too. Here, what's our car doing over here? Oh, so you got someone to help move the car here while we were getting your driver's license. Just believe. Thanks, you've been a huge help. When I took the closer look, I discovered tons more post KC awareness about players on the first date. But when you're compared with the food taste event at the convenience store, it's less appealing. Okay, now we're going home. Okay, we're home. Oh. Alright, we can finally get back to our earlier discussion about G U N and Ching Yi. I knew you'd notice too. It's not our first time meeting them. After Bellabog called PubSec in the hollow, weren't they the officers who investigated? You were disguised as Eos at the time, so they weren't aware there was anyone apart from Bellabog Industries present. Mmm. Uh, luckily, I didn't aid the slip. Good thing I didn't give us away, or we could have been in trouble. We might bump into them again soon, so we should check the visual record of the investigation, just to be safe. Fairy, could you extract the data from back then? Fairy. Could you extract the data from back then? Yes, Master. I found the footage you require. Hmm, a few days ago in the Federal Plaza deep within the hollow. Thanks for your cooperation. We have a rough idea of how things unfolded. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. Earlier today, you all ended up deep in the hollow after the bangboo with your carrot malfunctioned. Then, you were attacked by an unknown monster right here. Is this the- I didn't see this, actually. Yes, but, uh, some of its parts might have been corrupted. We'll hand over a detailed repair report later. <laughs> Come on, don't mess it up. Uh, oh my god, so close. I'm not sure why, but something feels different about this Bing Boo. It looks unusually clever. Almost cunning. Oh my god, you're making me sweat, girl. Uh, okay, okay. wait a sec, Chingy. Hey, your arms. Oh, I wish I was behind that butt. Saying things like that in front of the person filing the report might get us reported. Yeah, chill, girl. Chill! Let's put aside how they ended up in the hollow for now. Yeah, thanks. Seems like Bellabog Industries has come across something quite extraordinary. Absolutely. I don't remember seeing anything with such unique traits in the records. Let me take a closer look at it. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like there's something inside the crystal. <gasps> what? Then don't touch that. <laughs> All non-forensic officers <laughs> are prohibited from handling evidence without proper authorization. Uh, she's going to ooh woo when I was so couldn't leak that. Besides, it's too risky. Even if you've undergone corruption resistance treatments. Inspector, the crime scene is just up ahead. What is that ferocious mark? I mean, the dangerous criminal. Oh. Ah, uh, Inspector Bringer, what are you doing here? Oh, you two are in charge of the scene. Uh, here come two elites of our criminal investigation department. <laughs> Bring the suspect over. <clears throat> Get my good side when we take the picture. I need it for the headlines tomorrow. Inspector, good side. the suspect isn't here. They were attacked by an unknown being with high ether activity. Huh? So it was just an ethereal? No, Inspector. It had some peculiar characteristics. We suspect it to be the result of hollow mutation, or the product of some type of illegal activity. Hold, hold on. You see now, Ju Yuan. It's good to be vigilant as a public security officer. But the election is just around the corner. If we reveal the presence of an unknown monster in the hollows at this stage, my election... Uh, I mean, the citizens will be put in fear. Public security shouldn't make any hasty announcements. We must investigate the matter thoroughly first. Rest assured, we've requested the collected evidence be given to hand for expert analysis. We're confident we'll soon be able to... What? It's being given to hand? <clears throat> I mean, you did the right thing. Still, let our forensics team handle the evidence collection. Hmm? You two have always been my trusted aides. So I have a very important task for you. Okay, the workshop, the first, the first has a play to the end. It's clearly a very unique ether active being. Yet Inspector Bringer wasn't interested in the slightest. At least he didn't say no to giving over the evidence to hand. Oh, now I get it. The important task Inspector Bringer mentioned is the seminar at the Lumina branch. What's so special about this seminar that he has to send Ju Yuan and Ching Yi to manage it? Fairy, are you able to bring up any related info? Fairy. Are you able to bring up any info related to the seminar? I'm running a search on keywords Lumina Square and Public Security Safety Awareness Month. There are several relevant articles by multiple media companies. I shall read them. Given the recent surge in major incidents within the city this month and aiming to safeguard urban security while enhancing public awareness, Janus District Public Security has decided to launch the Public Security Safety Awareness Month across the entire district to provide citizens with practical information. Public Security has assigned several officers from the Criminal Investigation Department to assist in planning the event. Mr. Bringer, Commanding Officer of the District Headquarters and the driving force behind the event, will also be in attendance at the seminar which is to take place at the Lumina branch. Along with the other officers in charge, Inspector Bringer will conduct a media interview during the event to address any concerns citizens may have. So, it's not just Inspector Bringer attending the seminar, but a bunch of media representatives as well. You hear that, Wise? Ju Yuan and Qin Yi will participate in the interview too. Must be quite the honor for a public security officer, right? What do you think about this seminar? Hmm. Um, uh, it might be a good chance to get us some info. It's just a seminar to educate citizens about safety, so it wouldn't hurt to go. Besides, with top officials from public security attending, we might pick up some useful information. Okay, it's decided then. We'll tell Ji Yuan and Ching Yi we'd like to attend the event when they come to 6th Street in a few days. Few days? Besides the person's the name and address, the public security question could give me a few general questions on security. Draw for the industry, I'll go and fill up for you too. Uh, thanks, that's so considerate. Oh, it says here the citizens who play in the event can draw the prize based on the survey ID and the day in the lecture. And the prize is gonna be a videotape. Now that you're talking about this, I'm not sleeping anymore. Major travel visit is near due. Net of justice, no escape. Policy is important. I should have known. I kept the fiend key ordered too many copies. I just need to add, add on the event anyway. Anyway, let's just leave the survey to me. I got late. Ways. So let's get some rest. I'm playing with this too. Then see you tomorrow. Go a good night's sleep. The next few days are busy organization with sales and the reviews of customers then. Wow, you asked about Sue and Kushi? What a question. I was just about to tell you. 
I heard from Fairy that she's been seeing student who around here since yesterday. I already filled out the questionnaire they gave me earlier. Whenever you have time, you can go find them. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do... Can we make it... Oh god, it's not even midnight. Never mind that. Okay, let's, let's, let's forget to do this for now. I'm done. Let's go tomorrow. You okay? I know. No problem. It's decided. The next morning... Why? Wow, Fairy says she saw Zuyu and Hyun hang out question the question. Let's go find them. Okay, time to find them. Oh, look at those two talking with Tin Master. Criminal cases have been rampant lately. To raise safety awareness among citizens, Janice Quarter Public Security has launched the Safety Awareness Month campaign. We'll be holding a seminar at the Lumina Branch soon. Please come and join us if you have time. A public security event? Oh, how nostalgic. I participated in such an event years ago, you see. It was somewhat reminiscent of a coffee tasting event. I even had the chance to offer everyone present some freshly ground coffee. Albeit, it wasn't a top shelf roast. Oh, it's a shame public security's facilities now smell of air fresheners everywhere. No longer suitable places for enjoying coffee while freely conversing. Um, what do you mean? Of course, while fine wines develop into richer experiences with time, other worthy items can go bad. Oh, I'm talking of coffee beans. So to prevent the coffee beans at my shop from facing a sorrowful fate, I have to go grind them properly. I'm afraid I can't make the event. Now, if you'll excuse me. Damn. Mr. Enzo, according to our data, you're running a remodeling shop on 6th Street. Would you be interested in attending the seminar? Well, hey, it's not often I get invited out by two young ladies. So I'd love to join you. Hey, yo. Unfortunately, my second aunt's grandfather's son's cousin is getting married that day. I can't miss such an important family event. Huh, I understand. In that case, I hope your relative has a great wedding. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have a customer coming soon to collect his car. I better get back to it. Oh, man, that's unfortunate for these people. Good morning, Ju Yuan. Jing Yi. Good morning, Wise. Bell. Here's our questionnaires. Here are our questionnaires. We've decided to attend the seminar. Wonderful. If it weren't for you two, we wouldn't have recruited a single participant yet. Jing Yi? That's blunt. So what? It's the truth. Besides, it's not like they're strangers, right? Yeah, right. But how come nobody on 6th Street wants to go to the seminar? Everyone here is usually pretty welcoming. Is there anything we can do? Is there anything we can do to help? Now that you mention it, there is something I'd like to ask you. Some of the residents on 6th Street only registered their names, but didn't fill in their addresses. Do you know where they live? Oh, let me see. Asha, General Chop... Spike should be one of our members, an older gentleman. We know all these people. We can take the questionnaire to them. How about we help you take the questionnaires to them? That's a good idea. 6th Street doesn't usually have much interaction with public security. So if they see officers handing stuff out all of a sudden, they might be wary and refuse. If it's a neighbor who brings them the questionnaire, maybe they'll be more open to it. Oh, we wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm, you guys helped us before. You two already did us a huge favor. It's only right we return the gesture. Zhu Yuan, since they're willing, we should let them help. Okay, thank you, really. Let's split up and meet back here later then. Okay. We'll have to get find Ashi, General Chop, and Spike and give them the public security survey. Ashi and General Chop should be at the store about right now, right? As Spike, he left the address when he went at the end of the store. Fairy is going to send it over. Okay. So, where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh my god. Look at that! Jesus! And for the other one, eh, I prefer Junior's ass. I'm sorry. To make it easier, I'm gonna start with someone like far away and then the closest one before moving out. So, starting with this one. Apartment gate? What? Spike should live here. Though, try and ring the doorbell. Dang! Dying sleep here. It never ends. I said it time again. I got no teeth, so I don't need to sleep a little bit too much. What? Not the truth was then. I got no hail. So only the dark car are either. Spike, we are managers for a random play. Oh, view story? One moment. Whenever the door finally opens. Oh, it's the old person. I forgot about him. Oh, boy, we came out. How many of you to tell me from turn this time? I'm sorry, wait, it's short. I'm old. No, no, we're actually here for something else. 
Could you please take a look at the survey? Mm, now there's an unsolved place to bring a lad, isn't it? Sorry, my sister's all used to be. I can't read the words actually clear. Could you also read it for me? You tell us about the voice security security event. Hmm, for a second alien securing the city of us citizen. That sounds lovely. If this really cared about the resident, they wouldn't be chasing around other proxies. In the end, all the better is just the tops. Thank you for bringing the server over, but as you can see, the lady of my eye tall stable. I don't really want to go worry off as far as Lamar Square. Could you please tell the officers? Oh man. Like this old this old guy doesn't want to go because legs are dead. Duh, Jen is not here? Seriously? Okay. Hmm? Jen isn't at the shop today? Uh, you here to see the owner? He says, um, he says Lucas had arrived and he went to sign on for them. He'll be back soon. Like he's about to come back later. Duh, man, okay. Now we got- Oh, the big Tilly Asha! Yeah. Hey, dude, it's been a while since I saw you about the computer. Are you here to play some machine? Not today, Asha. We have something else today. Could you take a look at the survey? Oh, you watching the new movie journey that's talking your story? It's actually a post security survey. Uh, I think you guys got busted by post security and now you're doing community service? We're saying private VOTs are bringing like this or... Uh, what happened to... Uh, is that how you see us? No, I'm just kidding. There's just too many security residents on City Street and you seem to escape from some mysterious vibe. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out one day you were the number one most wanted post security in the world's list. Thanks for your approval? You tell Ash about the post security survey. I see, you just have about the opposite you know. Well, as long as you're okay, that's what matters. Actually, the last time I was at the bus school, I saw post key has set up a promotion booth. Oh, uh, that's the day of the lecture. Lots of me other will be in town, including interviews. It seems like post is really putting a lot of effort on the event, exchange event. It may be worth checking out, don't you think? Exchange events. That's maybe a case of regular season like me, you, and me. But for some people, it could mean something entirely different. Some people? Nobody, nothing. I just wanted to know himself. Anyway, thanks for bringing the server over, but unfortunately, I won't really have time for afternoon. Please pass it to the officer for me. What? I can't. I can't understand. Spike is old and doesn't want to travel too far, but I don't see someone use it to open the house and dash and shut down. Just so it's the only one left. Oh, look, why I shouldn't us back. Let's go talk to him. Okay. General Chalp. Hello, eyes. Some customers mentioned you were looking for me. I understand you're helping those two officers from public security hand out questionnaires? Uh, would you take a look at the questionnaire? General Chop, would you mind taking a look at this questionnaire? I'll pass. I figure it's about that seminar in Luminous Square. Anyway, please tell the officers I have other things to tend to that day. <sighs> I knew it. I had a feeling General Chop would say no before we even got here. And after I told Ju Yuan and Ching Yi we could help. Oh! Have other people said no too? Yeah. Asha, Spike. Oh, and I think Tin Master and Enzo said no this morning too. <laughs> um, is still something going on? Is there something going on? It's no big secret. It's just um, some of us older residents on 6th Street know some things you're not aware of. Do you two know who the guy on the questionnaire cover is? Isn't that Inspector Bringer? I heard he came up with the event. Then, have either of you heard of the Hollow Hero from the Eridu period? Hmm... No. I've never heard of it. Well, for a while back then, that's what the residents called Bringer. Before the fall of the old capital, Bringer happened to be the commanding officer in my precinct. After being promoted from the front line, despite being an inspector, he still got involved at the ground level and interacted with the residents. So they regarded him highly. Then, he went missing in a hollow during a rescue mission. But just when everyone thought he was done for, he miraculously made it back out. Just like that, he became known as the Hollow Hero. He was then transferred to the HQ in Janus Quarter and quickly advanced to the ranks over the years. That's a pretty inspiring story. It used to be. But these days, people say the Hollows have drained the Hollow Hero of all his courage. Now, Bringer presents himself as a hard worker, but we older residents can see through it. He's just putting on an act in front of the cameras. What's more, in recent years, that makes sense, actually, he's clearly about it. been cozying up to tops. He's implemented a number of measures under the guise of benefiting the public, but it's those big corporations that benefit in the end. He's aiming for commander of Janus Quarter in the upcoming municipal election. 
launching a safety campaign right now, even putting his own image on the questionnaire. His motives are pretty clear, don't you think? Hmm. Mm. Uh, seems like he's using personal resources, public resources for his personal gain. It seems like Inspector Bringer is using public resources for his own gain. Hmm. Exactly. Holding the seminar is a good thing, but I can't go knowing what Bringer is up to. Thanks for telling us all this, General Chop. I'm just sorry I can't be of help this time around. Well, we visited all the neighbors. It might be awkward, but it's probably time we go back and tell Ju Yuan and Ching Yi the news. Aw, oh, man. Now I think about it, um, if we look back to what we saw earlier, but what the AI fairy sold us, you know how he said, make me look good in the camera? That literally means, oh, he's hiding something. He is hiding something. Oh my god, that kick every time I walk up to you from behind. Lady, can you just not do that in my eyes, please? <sighs> We've gone up and down 6th Street, but we haven't even gotten 10 people to register for the seminar. We've done our best. Let's get a drink and take a break. Hey, easy for you to say, but the conference hall we're in can fit 300 people, you know? As things stand, it'll be more than half empty. Inspector Bringer must have chosen this area because there's a lot of residents nearby. Thinking it'd be easier to find people to participate. Shame many of them are from his previous precinct. A lot of them have complaints about him. <sighs> I was just wondering why you're in such low spirits today. When I've never seen you discouraged by difficult tasks before. But then I remembered. The inspector saved your life once. Not being able to accomplish what we'd hoped, on top of seeing him come under fire, it must make you feel even worse. Mm hmm. If Ringer hadn't rescued me in that hollow back then, I wouldn't even be here, let alone be a public security officer. I understand he's no longer the hero he used to be, but can someone who gave up his anti corruption gear to a child be such a bad guy? Sure, he's had some dealings with Tops, but it's inevitable. Especially when many of our devices are jointly developed with tops. And and besides, doesn't he always say he lacks sufficient authority to make changes? Hmm? If he gets elected, maybe he might be able to turn public opinion around. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. What? It means when someone flatters undeserving people, it's considered an act of sycophancy. If one should stand up for what is right, but remains indifferent, it shows that person is a coward. As public security officers, we need to be clear about what we should and shouldn't do. There may be many different ways to interpret Inspector Bringer's actions, but only he knows whether he has a clear conscience. If his deeds were pure, even if he's misunderstood for the time being, things will work out in the end. Yeah, you're right. Hm? Hold on, someone's coming. Hey, sorry to interrupt you guys. Sorry, are we interrupting you two? Oh, we were just chatting. Did you go talk to the residents? You gave them the questionnaire, but... We gave them the questionnaire, but they all happened to be busy on that day. Sorry for not being very helpful. Oh, it's okay. We're just grateful you tried it all. We're almost done with distributing the questionnaires here, too. Then, Chingy and I will be heading back to the office. Wait a minute! Officers! Huh? Oh. oh, good. Uh, you didn't go. Uh. Huh? What's up, dude? Is something wrong? General Chop, did you run all the way here? Why? It's hard to explain, but just now, there was a crime committed over there, and it's at a stalemate. Please, officers, you have to go take a look. A crime? Let's go check out the scene. Great. Please, follow me. Wise, let's go see what's going on. Well, proxies, I hope you know that, people. Why is there a crime scene out of all the things during this time of day, apparently? And it's actually back here. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, is this what it is? What's going- What? What's going on here? Hello, you two. It also starts ahead of us. We knew there would be so many onlookers already. Uh, what happened with the trucks? The kids actually connected to the part of the truck. But how exactly? I can't really say. Anyway, you two can just go check out yourself. Those are things from the distance. Just for now, so we're not too far away. If you say there's officers nearby, then let them come and weigh in. I mean, what possible argument could there be? They were caught in the act. Sir, caught in the act doesn't seem fair. 
It's similar to seeing only foam on a cup of barley latte and declaring it isn't coffee. Calm down now, gentlemen. We're public security officers. What's going on here? Officers, you're finally here. It's like this. I'm Gail. I'm a driver for Pegasus Logistics. I was making a delivery in the neighborhood. I'd finished the delivery and was calling the next client when I heard a suspicious thud from the back of my truck. Startled by the noise, I quickly rushed over, only to find all my ducks flying and running out of the cargo compartment. A flustered Bangboo was caught at the scene of the crime. This is that very Bangboo. <laughs> No, I didn't do anything. Get chance I didn't do anything bad. Look, Wise, isn't that Bangboo give change from the 141 convenience store? Officers, I saw the whole thing. There was no one around when it happened except this Bangboo. I'm sure it opened my cargo compartment. Those ducks inside are a new specially bred variety. They're worth a fortune. Losing just one or two of them will cost me more than a month's salary. I've taken your statement, sir. Bangboo, do you have anything to add? <laughs> My name is Gift Cargo. I work at the convenience store. My, My head was My head was spinning when I walked past the truck just now. I stopped and took a break. They're like minions actually, not gonna lie on that part. Suddenly I heard a loud noise, then the door was open and the duck flew out. What do you mean the door was open? I know you opened the door and let all the ducks out! Yes. Sir, if I might say, I think you're being too harsh on Give Change. Yeah, I don't think you do that. As Give Change's neighbor, I must say something on their behalf. I know them well, and I'm sure they wouldn't do anything like this. Then tell me, why was my cargo compartment open despite being locked? Officers, there's been tons of Bangboo committed crimes in the city lately. You gotta help me find evidence linking this Bangboo to the crime. So we can hold it accountable for my losses. This isn't just about Give Change's reputation, officers. They could lose their job. You simply must uncover the truth and prove Give Change's innocence. Mm, so uh, not far away from the crowd. The only time I've seen Tin Master this agitated is when I asked for instant coffee. Hmm. I doubt Give Change is the culprit. I don't think Give Change is the culprit, though. We've dealt with a Bangboo at the convenience store quite a bit, and they've always been honest. But Give Change was the only one there when the driver realized what had happened. So it's hard to explain, hmm? Look, people are leaving. Have Yun and Qingyi resolved the incident? Let's go see what's going on. Hey, I don't know. Okay, I'm suspecting the one... It probably on his own, honestly, while he was driving. That's what I'm gonna say. Hello, right, let's talk to you, cake lady. Hi, Belle. Hi, Wise. We overheard what happened earlier. Does the crowd leaving mean everything has been resolved? Not yet, unfortunately. We discussed the situation and managed to calm everyone down. So, what now? Might I ask what the situation is now? We took a look around the truck, and we didn't find anything suspicious, other than the traces left by the escaped ducks. There are no security cameras in the area. So all that's left to be checked is the Bangboo's visual record and the truck's anti-theft system. And to review both of those, professional technicians are needed. So we don't have an immediate conclusion. Hmm. Is this... Uh, will that take a long time? Will that take a long time? I'm afraid so. It'll take about two or three days. Both the driver and Give Change will have their daily routine disrupted somewhat during this time. After we explained the situation, the driver said his main concern is the whereabouts of the cargo. As long as he can deliver the shipment on time today, he's willing to reconcile. So, Tin Master and some other residents of 6th Street went to look for the ducks. In that case, Wise, let's hurry up and go help too. We'll accompany you as well. Uh, Dolphs in the criminal of to probably looks for things too. Do officers in the criminal investigation department look for things too? Cases like this would normally be assigned to junior officers, but handing the task over would take time, and we don't want the residents to think public security is evading responsibility. And there's something suspicious about this incident, so Ching Yi and I decided to look for other clues while searching for the ducks. G U N, Ching Yi. Thank you. Then let's get going. We're pretty good at finding things, right, bro? Um, yeah. Why, can you talk? Hmm, gossing to say that it can be heard by the post security officers. You could say that. When it comes to finding things on 6th Street, we got a very little help here. Know what I'm saying? Uh, you mean fairy. 
Yep, Fairy should be able to point, point looks like where the dogs are hiding. I'll wait as her mark out the exit location nearby. Then we can forget the places she marked out for us. Sussy places? There's four too many. Yeah, we need to check out a few places since there are four of us. How do we feel about splitting up? I'll go with Kenya. You can tell with Zenya. That was building some cereal. Okay, inside then. <gasps> I'm with. Oh, okay. I'm with the dick lady. Okay. <laughs> okay. The summer do we modeling shop first? Huh? Did you know we dogs behind the door? Uh, why? Well, listen, I can do it. Hear dogs cracking coming from behind the door. Oh my God! The angle when she talks. Um, people are probably busting. They're not looking at that. But we're miles away from here. How do you notice this place? I just have a vague feeling. Are you talking about instincts? Sounds like something crunchy would say. The name of the store is Turbo. Ah, this is the Enzo shop, but he doesn't look to be the door locks type. Crack bang. What's that sound? It seems they were asking the issue. Let's go check a look. Mm, yeah. I did say I was gonna do like a ball story, but because I'm doing this now, oh, I should have done it later. Alright, Enzo, let's talk to you. Oh, oh my, we're happy here. That's actually gave me a fright. I'm not sure what's up. Can you tell me what happened here? I don't have a clue. Uh, I really don't know. I just suddenly it happened so fast. Uh, Ma'am, calm the fuck down. What is Miss Public Service Officer? Allow me to explain. Miss Megan is a cousin of mine, and she's here to get her vehicle repaired. When she was about to leave, the car suddenly turned and rammed the bamboo. Uh, did the car have a similar issue prior to the incident? Never, never. I came to get the repair done because this truck switch wasn't working, and this is the only issue it had. But it just went out of control for some reason. Miss Public Key Officer, please believe me. I absolutely did not break the law. I can't assess to that. It's the rest of you went a little off just now. I'll take a look at the images. What does this bang group belong to? Uh, don't worry about it. I found my left with you. It should be fine. Probably just a plug in error caused by impact. I'll fix up later. Uh, let me give you a hand then. I was wondering, you know, a thing or two about these two. Alright, I'll leave you the guy to you. Alright, these are easy to do. They fix the bamboo and my god, zing. And damn, would you grab that ass? I probably would. But I got a girlfriend, so yeah, shut up. This looks easy. You just gonna turn this, and then you just gonna turn this, and you gonna just gonna turn this, and you just gonna turn this. Again, and again. Oh, look at you. I'll pet you, but like, oh, you, and you should so cute. Not long after. I clicked! Here you go. <laughs> what happened just now? You were in a car accident. <laughs> I remember now. I went to grab the tool bar with the large white and green metal about so they took a ton. It seems that it really was a female motion accident that she that was she means as I said. Well, it's thinking if he's a little guy for me, but it'll take a little more to just find what we want with the car. Oh well, I saw you around so earlier. Were you looking for me? Actually, I uh I think the doctor inside your shop. I see, I'm looking for you now. And it ends up in the door's story. Ah, uh, it's really inside the story. Uh, this is great. They found one now. Thanks for having me, Senzo. You're welcome. Well, as I heard about the incident to give Chase involved in, I should help out too. But something is strange about Mr. Manager's car. Megan's car, and she's very interested, so I have to help her first. You do what you need to do first. I'll leave it to you for now then. I'll come and help out if I'm done over there. Okay. A wild duck out there. Oh my god. Okay, next area is just right here. Yeah, a drink. What? Hey, I think things was just sitting in the drink box. Ah, it's just a couple of ball of paper. Think the wind is over. The ball blue has been soaked by the rain. But I can't seem to make a few words. My life is good dull by the day. Only what I do was how stupid I was before and how much I let you drown. Forget you, I can't for me. Okay, just about the goods of the paper right now, you have a pretty good idea of how the person responded. Despite being attracted, there was no us using holding into regrets. People have to take responsibility for their own actions. Since becoming a public security officer, I witnessed this too many times to, to count. There are some more words on the back. Oh yeah, let's see, I spoke to a difficulty about the mental sensor, the in Chowja. Because you are my true love, mm, this person was literally apologizing. What does it feel like they're bragging? Good, at least it's not a tragic anymore. Correct as you may be, it's best to not snoop into other people's private affairs. We should get down to business. Yeah, okay, that's the next thing done. Now we got one more place to go. Um, convenience store? Oh, wow, these guys. Hey, guys, let's do this. Ah, here you are, guys. Why are you all doing staying here? 
obviously because the other dogs under that convenience store truck see it's right there quick just grab it easy to say it's hiding under the front of the fair underneath the truck there's no way you can reach it we need to come up with, an, with another plan uh uh try cracking like a duck are you trying to say like a hawk you know they're the main predator of ducks right from what i know about my brother he's probably trying to marry some ducks like species uh, come on, come with some slack. Maybe could you get the truck over the stuff the car? Maybe the duck will run over uh, if we feel like I'm moving. Makes sense. I could find a clean start bamboo. Not long after. You own this in the engine? No problem. Uh, um, it won't start. No way. What's happening right now? Uh, strange. There must be something wrong with the truck. It woke just fine this morning. Nani, terrible luck today. Get got charged for it, got in trouble, and now our truck is broken down for no reason. Give Jesus always does. It's the only Thanksgiving changes that's in bad to superior. Don't worry. We'll, f we'll find all our stars in the office of the bottom of this curtain. And you won't get it separated. Thank you. Uh, but what will we do about the ducks under the truck? The best place to find a helping hand at the end of the own arms. Let me handle this. Try to push the truck over the other side. Damn! Okay, I mean, she's tough. Look at those stomachs. She has abs. What? Whoa, the duck was still stunned. I just went ahead and grabbed it. Whoa, that was hardcore. I think you really achieved the duck. Let's look somewhere else. Okay, after some searching, you and Bill count your catch. Because it seems only the duck is still on the loose at this moment. <laughs> huh? There's a need from fairy. Seems like Bell looks sick and has been near a back of a parking lot. Let's go take a look. Oh my god. Everywhere we look, where will we see Jun Yan? Her ass is like right there, you guys just can't look away. There's a dog in behind us, um, okay, that's, that's kind of hilarious. Okay. Hmm, you could do your hideouts or anything else good to find, just sound naive. Listen, you may have a fairy tale, but it's still not too late to turn your things about. I suggest you just want to turn yourself in. Uh, what's going on? You two were in a drama class or something? Country, we better grab before one's ready again. Okay, I've easily stuffed the fairy into her sack. Thank you for your hard work, driver just DM. Uh, other also have sent by a dog they found while I was searching. But plus, that one just caught. That's all of them. Awesome! The dog were hiding in really obstacle spots. It was all thanks to you, <laughs> noticing this place at all. It has been for you the whole time. I might have suspect that we were actually. Were actually that you were actually the one hiding ducks. Or that you have some other way to know all that's going on around the neighborhood. Uh. Country has pretty much busted us. I mean, not really, she is not to be taken lightly. Technically, I know it's supposed to be complicated, but it came out a bit weird. I'm sorry, I only meant to say these two could make good post key officers. Now that we've found all the dogs, let's go back to the truck. Cool, let's go. Alright. Hmm, more sacrifice, look up there. Oh, uh, are our headlights flashing? Let's go check it out. Flashing? What? What do you mean by flashing? What's going on? Ugh. Really, Wise? You totally forgot to turn off the lights last time you drove the car. Oh. Uh, but I did turn them off. That's weird. I definitely turned them off. Also, it was dark when I came back, so I'd have noticed if I'd left the lights on. Oh no, it turns sound the lights off. Huh? What's going on? I can't turn off the lights. Is something wrong with the switch? I don't know, but nothing happens when I press it. The battery's gonna die at this rate. I'd better manually disconnect the lights for now. How weird. The car got serviced not that long ago. I just figured something would go wrong all of a sudden. Why does this sound familiar? Hey, is it just my imagination, or does this situation seem familiar? Hmm? What's wrong, Chingy? Something on your mind? All the incidents we've encountered today are somehow related to vehicles. Now that you mention it, you're right. The van in the convenience store wouldn't start. The car that just pulled out of the remodeling shop broke down, and now Wise and Bell's car lights won't turn off. If we count the missing ducks from Pegasus Logistics, that's already four vehicles involved. If we count the car accident the other afternoon, that's five in total. That was all because Bell was distracted. That one wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been distracted while walking, Bell. But that wasn't totally my fault, Wise. My cell phone suddenly malfunctioned, and it distracted me. Hmm? Huh? Bell's cell phone malfunctioned before the car accident at Lumina Square? What kind of malfunction? Describe what happened. 
She said her phone suddenly lost signal, and a bunch of colorful stripes appeared on the screen. But it went back to normal soon after. Uh, I knew it. Remember, Chingyi? The driver said he was on the phone at the time of the car accident. If I'm right, something else must have been going on back then. This is a bizarre thing going on. Right. That's probably why Give Change said it felt dizzy too. Hmm. Uh, what are you two talking about? How did the interrogation go? I think we finally figured out what's really behind all the recent incidents. For now, let's get the ducks back and see if we can confirm a few things along the way. Meet us near the truck later, and I'll explain everything. Alright, everything. Huh? Alright, we're turning to the scene of the accident, which that's where we're going. Alright, sir! Uh, go, Gally! Here you are, Bellwise! This way, we get the ducks back. I see you and Chang Xing here. Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi told us to wait for them here. Did they come by? No. No. No, no, no. Yeah, they were here. The green also checked on me, and the red one asked me a question when I didn't question understand. Oh, yeah. Here's all that happened. They just came and measured the Bang Boo's electrical current data logs, asked a weird question, then left in a hurry. What did you ask? Could you tell us what they asked? They asked me if my cell phone had malfunctioned in any way. Since I'd been on the phone during the incident, my phone actually did turn itself off out of nowhere, but how did they know that? Wait, your cell phone malfunctioned too? Uh, something just occurred to me. All the accidents lately. Could they be caused by EMP? You're quite right, Bell. Zhu Yuan, Jingyi, you're back. Have you ever heard of an EMP emitter, sir? I can't say I have. What's that? When activated, it causes a sudden change of current in nearby electronic equipment, resulting in component failures or, at worst, completely burning out the equipment. Using EMP, someone could open the electronic lock on your van without even touching it, easily. At the moment your door was opened, not only did your phone malfunction, but Give Change experienced a sudden surge of current, all indicative of an EMP attack. So you mean this Bang Boo is a victim, just like me? And someone else is at fault? Yes, we believe that to be the case. Uh, I shouldn't have been so hot-headed. What I said before... <laughs> Give change, I'm sorry I misjudged you. You have my sincerest apology. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just relieved to know I'm not be separated by from my partners. So, who is the culprit, officers? Have you caught them? Don't worry. Our colleagues are checking the surveillance records. We should be able to identify the culprit real soon. They launched multiple EMP attacks today. So if we check all the passers-by near the crime scenes, we can narrow down our search. Oh, who's calling? Officer Zhu Yuan, we've investigated the surveillance records and have a suspect. We are currently tracking him near the street exit. Should we detain him for questioning? Immediately. Well done. Understood. Ah, officer, the suspect has fled. He's heading toward your location. Chingyi, come on, we'll stop him. Zingyi and Chingyi immediately head off to cut them off and ambush them, and you and Bill follow suit. Oh, little next to Carping Hollow and 14th Street. Uh, okay. Stop there! Hey, what are you doing? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That's a suspect? Okay! Yeah. Even a cat? What the hell is this? <laughs> Again? Oh, he's been doing it. Stop or I'll shoot. Hey. <laughs> that didn't even. Oh, he went in the hollow. Oh no. This is Ju Yuan. The suspect has fled into the hollow. We're pursuing him inside. Copy that. Did he just. Oh, I'd have thrown it harder if I'd known he was so tough. How are things going? The culprit ran into the hollow, and we're going after him. You two can head back now. Let's follow them and see what happens, Wise. Okay, in person? Really? No, the bamboo? If he was inside the video store. Oh, bamboos! Chi and Ching Yi have gone into the hollow, Wise. While I'm sure they can handle the situation, we should go into the hollow and see if we can help. Yeah, we can let them get away with that. Yeah, we can't just let them get away with it. Are you mad at him because he almost caused me to have an accident? Even if he hadn't caused that accident, he needs to be held accountable for all the trouble on 6th Street. We can go whenever you're ready. By the way, even though you're angry, remember to keep your distance from Ju Yuan and Ching Yi in the hollow. They are still officers after all. 
Okay. Why? If you want, you can head out. Very. Besides parenting the vice city, also keep an eye for any dark causes going on in the jungle. Second season. The whole division has been more crippled than the temporary care issued by Pussy I can invite everyone's help. However, please note that the previous verbal threat used by Pussy Kitty officers were in 15 negative of pursuit. It is recommended to shoot at the target legs to mobilize it. Fairly, security officers can use force of these when a police suspect. Let's not shoot them. Hmm, see which. A hollow might be a good place to catch this free person. Yeah. Okay, so do this now or do this later? I mean, you know what? Yeah, let's do this now. This, I can still do it. Oh, okay. Do it all lock. Let's do it. I done it. Okay, at least I upgrade my people. So I'm good. My ladies, we got this. Oh my god, what is going? Man, she got out. The heat signature is moving west. The precinct's carrot won't last forever. If we act fast, we can catch the suspect before he gets away. Yeah, let's keep going. And meanwhile, I'm here as a bamboo. Master, order received. Assisting security officers Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi in pursuing the fugitives. Multiple biosignatures detected ahead. Presumably the targets requiring assistance. Please utilize your size advantage to approach quietly and provide assistance when needed. You got it. Surrender now! Give it up! Nothing for you. Guys, listen! They're down there! Button! I mean... Hold up. Hold up. Let me press that again. Ooh! Okay, hold up. <coughs> hold on, hold on, hold on! Before I go, uh, let, me, let me get some coins, okay? Oh, ow, my head. Uh, hold up. Okay, um. Okay, let me go down now. They just won't give up. Eat this. Uh oh, it's an EMP. Jingy, are you? Hold on. Ethereals are coming our way. Were they attracted by the EMP? Let's fend them off first. Wise, let's take a closer look. Hold on. And bounce up. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, we're gonna. It's like we're stuck in like, oh, oh, let's watch your ass while the fight happens. I like your ass. Okay, officer. Oh, she's ready to go. What is this music they put out? Be it... careful. The ethereals are Wait a minute. Ahead. Wait a damn minute. Why is there a bamboo here? Full set of ammo with me today. Why is there no a bamboo here? You're always prepared. Uh, it's... Is this what you meant when you said expect the unexpected? Why is there a bamboo here next to me? What is this? It's me, Wise, and oh my god, look at it. Oh my Why are you looking at my kick like that? Can you chill? Anyway, this is gonna move on. Stay fighting off. Ooh! Going up! Okay. We are stronger now. We're the 40s. That's okay. Ellen? Go, I go. Not fast. Now we're good, we're good. Let's keep going forward, washing the goals. Okay. Stacking it, stacking it. Go, go. Use my leg, use my leg, use my leg. Okay. Okay. Come back here. Okay. Boom. Mornings. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, double down, double down. Yep. Drop the weapon. Damn. She is a. Come on, go down. 
Ela... Boom! A lot of damage, them. Finally rid of all those ethereals. I didn't expect the EMP emitter to affect ethereals so much. They just keep showing up. If we let him get away, he might continue causing trouble. Yeah, and having one means he's likely connected to some sort of gang. We have to find him and get to the bottom of this. Let's check around for anything that could indicate where he's gone. No need. He went right. Huh? How'd you figure that out so fast? Traces in the snow, marks in the sand. Observe the subtle to catch the culprit from afar. It's a skill passed down over generations. Wanna learn how to do it? Uh, hold on, uh, let me write that down. Uh, slower this time. How did you figure it out? Hmm. Traces in the snow, marks in the sand. Uh, is there a less mysterious way to put it? You make it sound like just a feeling. I guess it is based on a feeling. My right hand feels numb. Ah, uh, I didn't realize the EMP would affect you like that. Are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing serious. It's just... Can we rough him up a bit once we catch him? Well, rough we just have to catch him fast then. Oh, you mean you get his cock out and start fucking him just because how thick you lie? On the other side. That EMP transmitter is a real pain in the neck. You and Eos need to be careful. Zhu Yuan and Jingyi are still chasing the culprit. We should get going. Uh, yeah, it's like saying we're done, but we're not done. Chingy, there's a way through here. Come into the wall. The bang boo can't reach the hole in the wall. Oh man. There might be a way if we can fix this mechanism. Oh, we also repair it. I have connected to the damaged circuit, Master. I found the cause of the damage. A short circuit. You can touch the circuit components and move them around to connect the circuit. Got it. Try touching a circuit com The circuit has been fixed. Just do that? That was pretty fast. Button press. Oh, right, let's go. Ouch. Nice. We've caught up. How did they catch up again? They're not getting through here. Like, motherfucker. It's close. We'll have to try and break it open. Look, the switch is right there. We might be able to fix it. Um, should we tell them? Like, guys? Chingy, something flew by just now. Um, it's totally not me! You're dicky. I just want to suckles. Um, okay, let's try heal. Okay, we'll pay out time. Let's connect the circuit, just like last time. Um. Okay, it's probably this way heal. The there we go. Has been fixed. Nice. Hello. Hello. The door's open. You're incredible, Chingy. Uh, That's strange. I barely used any force just now. It wasn't. It, <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't. Yeah, it was her, not me. Problem solved. Let's follow them. Oh, wow, how would we do that? Got a second one. Okay, that's right. We got so oh, opposite. You can't. Don't even. use the EMP. It'll draw the ethereals here. <laughs> like I care. They're over there. Uh, there are oh. signs of an EMP being used here too. <sighs> what is fine? We can do yeah. this with our eyes closed already. Let's fix it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird if I did. Uh, the circuit has been. Fixed. There you go. Hey, got it. Uh, what if I do this? Uh, makes no difference actually. Oh, oh, oh. let me go down. Come on. What about the other shit that's. Ooh! Okay, I see another one. I just saw just now actually. Good. Now I could. 
Okay. <laughs> now I got the dead one. Let's go to grab this one. Okay. You'll never catch me. Ha! A single ethereal is no match for me. Uh, why are there so many of them? Oh. Uh, what a satisfying moment. <laughs> That's what you call karma. Yeah, now what? Isn't the time for reflection, Ching Yi? We have to help him. Let him die! He's a bitch! Let him die! Alright, continue. My goodness, yeah, karma him with hide. I mean, they know what it is, so that's kind of hilarious. He's waiting on the door? Don't come any closer! I can hear the suspect! Let's go! There's no rush. Please scream a little longer. <laughs> scream a little longer? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Hey, George Yard! Presser K22! Maximum firepower! A grenade. Damn. Okay. I mean, is that a grenade or is that. No, never mind. It's, it's crazy, anyways. No! I know you're angry at him. But we still have to help him. Yeah, keep firing his eyes up. Keep wiring them up. Yeah, you've been corrupted. I wanna check something, see if it's true about her. If she Woo! Hey hey, chill, let me see. Guys, look at this. What? She kinda hold up. I can't even see. I mean, I guess you kind of could see the fact that she's kind of splitting her leg to show that puss of hers. Yo, horny. Oh, big boy, here we go. Okay, she's a final wave. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's only one. That got him. Yeah. Ooh. Wait I mean, Ellen! Oh, yeah. that was the last of it. Damn! You done? You done running around with that thing? Don't come any closer. All right, calm down. Uh, there's ethereals. Ethereals, help! Calm down, sir. All the ethereals around here have already been eliminated. You're safe now. Really? The Ethereals are... I'm safe? Uh, you, you're the pub sec officers from before! What's wrong? Didn't expect us to chase you all the way here? Uh, no. I mean, I'm just surprised, is all. I mean, I've been causing problems for you all, and there were so many Ethereals nearby, but... You still took the risk of coming to rescue me. What nonsense. Protecting citizens is our duty as officers, but as they say, what goes around comes around. If it weren't for your misuse of the EMP in town, you wouldn't have found ethereals nearby. Damn. Well, wait, was that a poem? According to New Eridu laws and regulations, my colleague and I are arresting you for illegal possession of a dangerous weapon and endangering the safety of others. What's your name? Carlo Maroon. Thank you for cooperating, Mr. Maroon. You have the right to remain silent. Once we're out of the hollow, you can contact a lawyer or get assistance from the Attorney's Association. We should make our way back to the precinct, Ching Yi. Hmm? Why, why are you looking around? I kept feeling like there was someone else here besides us. But the feeling suddenly vanished. Like who? You think there are other ethereals nearby? Not an ethereal. Something smaller and more agile. Could just be my imagination. I mean, I did suffer several EMP attacks today. So my senses could still be a bit overwhelmed. Let's go. After we drop off Maroon at the precinct, we should go back to 6th Street and tell everyone the good news. Mm hmm. Now we're done. How's close? Did she injure a shovel than we thought? She actually sensed you were nearby. Lucky she didn't try to dig deeper. Anyway, the culprit was caught. We can finally relax now. Why is Cheng Yi about to report back about the dress? They'll probably talk to the driver and give change first. Let's head over and check it out. Okay, let's head out. Alright, dude, we do find a suspect. I can't thank you two enough for today. Now you're welcome. 
It's an officer's duty and privilege. Public security will contact you for any compensation related matters should they arise. You're back. So you caught the suspect? Yeah. We just brought him to the precinct and finished our preliminary interrogation. Yeah, pretending like nothing happened. What was his motives? What was his motive for causing all those incidents? Well, it's all a bit silly, honestly. He claims his initial intention was to use the EMP emitter to steal vehicles, but a lack of expertise led to various unintended outcomes. Isn't possessing an EMP emitter strictly forbidden in the city? How'd he manage to get a hold of something like that? The culprit is a member of a Hollow Raider gang. According to him, they illegally manufactured several EMP emitters to bypass vehicle security systems. Hmm, sounds like there's a deeper conspiracy at play here. Seems like there's more going on than we first thought. We think so too. That's why we'll interrogate him again to uncover what the Hollow Raiders are up to. But I can't disclose more details about the investigation. I hope you understand. Well, that's about it. We'll be heading back to the precinct now for the second interrogation. Hold on for a moment, officers. Oh, General Chop, was there something you'd like to ask about the case? No, no, you've explained everything clearly. Actually, a few neighbors and I have something we'd like to say. Your help today is greatly appreciated. Not only did you clear gift change of any suspicion, but you also prevented the culprit from causing more harm in the future. And I'd like to apologize for my rudeness earlier. After speaking with my neighbors, we've decided to attend the safety lecture on Saturday. Here are the questionnaires we filled out. Oh, uh, really? Well, it's aimed at enhancing resident safety awareness after all, so it wouldn't hurt to attend. We heard you were ordered to come here and prepare for the event by Bringer. We can't let outstanding officers like you fail your mission just because we're unhappy with him, can we? Oh, you're too kind. Protecting the safety of the citizens is our duty. But your willingness to attend the lecture helps us a lot, too. Can I also have a questionnaire, officers? I want to attend the lecture, too. Wonderful. Looks like all's well that ends well. <laughs> I guess that's what you call a win-win situation. Mm. Not long after, I mean later, Jin Yao and Kan Li leave with the crowd disappearing soon after. It's already quite late in the night, and the time you take a give chance to answer the gift checked. So many things happened today. I'm just getting late. I should hurry up to get some sleep. I'm going to bed. I go to sleep. It was only thinking, thinking, tired, thinking, and uh, today. I didn't expect that I end up so busy today. I should, uh, I should go to bed now. I mean, yeah. I'm not checking my phone because I don't want to read all that, and I was pretty tired today. See, you and Chili, they finally don't need to worry about the lecture now. The lecture, bring you the companion. <laughs> The was completely, and now your mind feels pretty clear. Oh, this morning. Dear citizen, as a green for your super friendly neighbor and trusted pal, Officer Meaning. Who's the excess this guy? Oops, sorry, I forgot to change the green jumper and actually send it out. Uh, you forgive loving me and invite me uh, What's with that meow? Anyway, the good neighbor community should be at the most school has started. And guess who's in charge? Yeah, it's me. You're kind of funny for Austin meowing. I'm sending a message to my joint looks at me. Feel free to pay me a visit at the Lumna Square. Oh, you over there? Okay, I guess we're going there first before I end the episode. Wait, why is the bamboo over here? Wait, why is my bamboo over here? What's going on? It was I didn't know some street edge outside the parking lot. Bright color streets eels is keeps zooming by. Eels Yes, I tried my best to lie in wait. I bet to capture the suspect. It is which are harder. It is a suspense, so the most recent strings about the way outside the parking lot, but I don't double be wrong any time soon. I just decide to commit the commission with belly for now. There should have been quite a few strange things happening recently. Why is this a new commission of the internet? What kind of commission? I did this just a reason to record in the hollow, the hardest spot to put extra companies are. Uh, let's start with the head over spot first. Is it dangerous? Not at all. The client wants to make this fit the kitchen on 6th Street, and it's right outside the parking lot. Right outside the parking lot? Right. Angelus did say there's been some suspicious cancer looking outside the parking lot lately. You think that could be a client doing some work on? Uh, that's one good thing. The client said they offered a bonus award that no person could refuse. And that's on top of considerable commission fee. Why is fortune fee the bulk? Of course, let's go right, right now. Right now? Um... 
But I'm doing a mission right now. Hold on, I'm really curious. Is there something in the parking lot, or is just a box of uh, Miss McCarthy's item? Oh, I don't know. Oh, damn, but I haven't looked here since moved to the city street. We don't need anything right now, so maybe those doors are open at all. What? I thought we'll. Okay, I guess not. Okay, we're going. Hello, Officer Mioing. You here too? There you are, the girl's season friend. Not these. The person you're saying, well, unfortunately, the seven is already over. But no worries, because I prepared a more pleasant surprise for you. Can it take a while, guess what it's gonna be? You got it. It's a fact I put to lend help in hand. Now, isn't that an awesome surprise? I just I guess. Uh, walk away. Oh, hey, don't go away! Good season. I have some mail. Just watch the good season, my dear. Just like always. It's awesome. It lends the hand season that makes new age a better place. All the things in the edition good season matter from Officer Mia, don't you think? So, who needs my help this time? Well, I have really to think that'd be awkward for us ghost season like you to help us. I mean, we poke securities, Officer. I meant to help you, not to offer the realm. But honestly, all the officers don't need your help with time. To be more precise, it's a bamboo who works for the essence in the office. You'll be the real champion in the bamboo issue for all six streams. So naturally, you were the first one I thought of. The task this time, sweet point, read to help the bamboo companion find a new job. Uh, do bamboos get fired too? Fired? No, quite so sensory. The bamboo is real worse. His performance is also that Mario wants him to stay. But here's the twist. He got his an idea. Two days ago, he came to me and ended that I might not want to be sick hours anymore, Mia. We had obviously leave before, but this is the first time everyone has asked for a career change. This game the baby managed to depart a, head a headache, and my colleagues and stuff is struggling too, so I really need your help with this good season. Leave it to me. You are definitely the most dependent season than you do. The security needs to help the right neighborhood. Please go and ask and ask for more details. Uh, it's a side. It's a side quest? Wait, is it really a side quest I'm doing right now? Oh, it's a side quest. Okay, it's a side quest. I managed to stop it there, so the next episode I could finish doing the Nekomara story quest. Oh, well, I'm gonna go there. Last subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.